On October 21st, the Albright Lions football team overcame a methodical FDU Florham and eventually ran away with the game, beating the Devils 35-10 in Madison, New Jersey. Sophomore T.J. Luddy was excellent under center, completing 8 of 12 passes for 157 yards, 3 touchdowns, and no interceptions. His main target, Scott Pollard, caught 6 balls for 142 yards and 2 scores. Senior running back Jazan Holmes had a frustrating season as he attempted to deal with nagging injuries, but the school's all-time leading rusher looked healthy again as he totaled 94 yards on just 13 carries. Fullback Marty Reinert added two touchdowns on the ground. Senior Brooks Mitskiewicz has been named to the MAC Team of the Week twice this month and had another outstanding day punting the ball, averaging 46.1 yards on seven punts with four kicks inside the 20. Luddy got his first snaps on Albright's third drive and took just four plays to march the Lions from their own 40-yard line into the red zone for the first time of the game. On the next play, he found Josh Bacala for the touchdown, with Scott Pilar providing a key block inside the five-yard line. In the second quarter, Scott Pilar ran a deep route right down the middle and Luddy hit him in stride. Pilar lost his shoe on the play but managed to reach the end zone for a 54-yard touchdown. Ryan Ott led the defense with 12 tackles, 9 unassisted with a sack and 3 tackles for a loss. Gould also had 1 sack and 3 takedowns for negative yardage. Albright breaks a 3 game losing skid and improves to 5-3 and three overall, 3-3 three and three within the MAC. The Lions will host Widener in their homecoming game October 29th and their hopes of making an ECAC bowl game could be riding on the result. Yeah, you know, our defense did a great job all night, and we gave up a few big plays early, a couple of long passes, but we made some adjustments in the secondary. Uh, we tightened things up and, uh, you know, played solid, you know, the rest of the way. We gave up a field goal, you know, a touchdown in the first half, and then a field goal in the second. Uh, and that was off of a, a short a short field that they had, they had a nice kick return uh, on us. Uh, defense, you know, had their backs against the wall. Uh, I think they had first down at the plus 30, and we held them to a field goal, which is what you got to do in that situation. They did their job, you know, three and out in the field goal, and then uh, held them the rest of the way. Had a great fourth uh, fourth down stand, you know, uh, going into their end zone. Uh, Eddie Leach made a nice play at corner, two plays in a row actually. They tried going after him and made two nice plays there on the ball. So, uh, great defensive effort. You know, offensively we moved the ball again. The first half we struggled a little bit. Uh, they they were playing you know man coverage cover zero putting ten guys in the box, um, and you know we weren't able to make them pay early on like we like we needed to, and so you know we struggled a little bit offensively, but we came out in the, in the second half especially and, and really uh, executed you know both the run game and the pass game, uh, marched down the field and, and took some some drives down to score, you know hey we ran well you know Marty Reinhardt had a big day had a lot of rushing yards had a you know a couple of touchdowns uh, for us and. You know, Joson did a nice job. You know, at the tailback position, uh, really proud of uh, T.J. Luddy. T.J. You know, came in off the bench and, and really stepped up and, and you know played played very well uh, for most of the day. So uh, we got a big one next week. We got Widener coming to our place for um, homecoming. It's also senior day. So um, you know we're, we're off. You know we're off tomorrow. Uh, we're back to work uh, Sunday as a staff, and then. Uh, our players are back to work on Monday. So we got a weekend of rest for these guys, help them to recover a little bit, and then uh, we're moving on to Widener, and it's going to be a big one.